Hey y'all, it's me, Taylor Cecily. How y'all doing on this beautiful, marvelous, wonderful, magical, amazing, gracious day that has been blessed by God? How y'all doing today? Because I'm not gonna lie, I know y'all probably like, Taylor, why are you starting in the car? Like, I haven't started in my car since my very first video. And let me tell y'all, when I tell y'all today, I was just... I'm not gonna lie to y'all like I just was not feeling it I wasn't in the mood to do anything um I just got back to Atlanta on Saturday but on Sunday I didn't really do much so I was just like girl you gotta get up and go but it's currently 2 30 in the afternoon and it's because of daylight saving times the sun like falls really 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 early as y'all probably already know I know y'all probably like why are you teaching me science but um yeah the sun like sets really really early and i was and i left my mirror in my car so this is my mirror um and it's not in my dorm room so that's another reason why i'm starting in my car because i have somewhere to record just the lighting in my dorm room is just not up to par so i was just like i'm gonna start in the car instead but if you read the description you guys already know what we're doing today today i'm just gonna be Honestly, I'm just trying new places. I'm gonna be shopping. I'm gonna go get my toes done. I'm just getting stuff done that I didn't get done back at home that I was supposed to get done. So I was like, now that I'm in Atlanta, now I really need to get it done. So I have to get a phone case today. So I have to go buy Apple. I have to get myself a new phone case. I got my nails done, but I didn't get my toes done. And I like just, even though it's winter, I just like having my toes done. So I'm gonna go get my toes done and I'm also gonna go out to eat. Like I'm gonna take myself out just to like probably a cafe. I don't know where I'm going yet, but I'm definitely gonna try a new cafe today. I know I need to start going now cause it's currently 2.42 and most cafes close around four. I have time, but I'm just like the sun going down. Like I'm in, I'm in a race with the sun. I'm in a race with time. Like I'm just in a race with everything right now so i was just like i need to go like i did not have any time to go to my car like walk to the garage get my mirror take it back to my room then record my intro then go back downstairs i just didn't have time for that so today we're in the car but yeah y'all um i'm thinking about trying this cafe that's like eight minutes away um i think it's called it's called toast something i think it's called like toast on lennox it's either between Toast on Linux, but this other cafe that's nearby. I've just been looking, y'all look. I go on TikTok, I look for the cafe, and I look by the looks of it. And if the food look good, of course I gotta look at the reviews too, but I look at all that and I'm like, let me see. Cause I, I like to try new places, but I hate trying new places when I'm hungry. Like, your girl is starving. I'm starving. So yeah. so. I'm going to go look and see which cafe um, I decided on and we're going to head there. And of course, I'm going to take y'all with me. So y'all going to see whatever cafe I choose. So yeah, y'all, I'm going to talk to y'all when I get there. Yeah. Hey, y'all. So I just made it to the coffee shop. I decided to go with this place called Costa Coffee. Um, it says greetings from West End. So I believe this is West End, but the shopping center is called Lee and White. So I'm gonna be trying the coffee and the food here. I'm really, really excited to try it. I saw the reviews on TikTok and TikTok was saying that it's a really, really good place with great coffee and it has a really nice aesthetic. So I'm definitely gonna check it out. I really don't know what I wanna get. I haven't seen their menu, but I'm really, I don't know what I wanna get like coffee wise, like food wise, I'm probably gonna get like a sandwich or something, but coffee wise, like, I'm a big coffee person, but I'm like a big like frappuccino type of girl. Like I'm a big frappuccino type of girl. I like warm coffees, but like homemade coffees from like a coffee machine. I like frappuccinos and home coffee, but I really don't try to venture out besides frozen drinks. 
So I think I might want to try something a little bit different today. I don't know if I, I want something kind of cold. Um, I'm just really in the mood for something cold, not hot. But if I see something hot that I like, then I might get it. I really don't know. But yeah, I'm going to head in here. I'm going to see what I'm going to get. And yeah, of course, I'm going to take y'all with me. So let's go. So I decided to sit outside because it was like really, really like loud in there. You know, there's a lot of people there sitting, chatting, talking. So I was just like, I'm gonna just go outside instead. But I got my coffee. I got a salted caramel latte. And then I got my sandwich. It's a sausage and egg sandwich on brioche with cheddar. I love salsa sandwiches. So I already know that I'm really gonna like this, but I don't, I've never had a latte before, so we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out and see if I, I like it. So let me try. It's actually really good. And it's funny because I did tell y'all that I was gonna get something cold, like something that was like colder, but I decided to get something hot and then I just got an orange juice with it because I just needed something refreshing. Like this is the first thing that I drank all morning. So I was just like, I need something really refreshing with it. But it's actually really, really good. I just like caramel. So caramel anything is good to me, to be honest. But it's, it's really good. But overall, like the vibes of the cafe were great. The person who took my order was like super duper duper uber nice. And she was just, she just seemed like a really overall nice person. The vibes in there are really cute, but I just wanted to sit outside like and enjoy the nice air and nice weather because it's really not gonna be that hot all week, like at all. But let me try the sandwich out. This is so freaking good, like, hold on. And it's nice and hot. It doesn't taste like one of those sandwiches like that they would just, like at Starbucks, you know how they have them wrapped up and then they unwrap them and heat it up. This literally tastes, and it even looks like it was just freshly made in the back. And I really appreciate that because a lot of coffee shops and restaurants really don't do that much anymore. Like I said, they really just unwrap it and then pop it in the microwave for like two months heat it up and then give it to you it actually took them like a few minutes to make this Ooh. but yeah y'all it's like i told y'all earlier i just been really really stressed out and just had a lot going on like in my own personal life and in my own personal relationships and that's also one of the reasons why i wasn't posting as consistently as i was like but like I said, it's just, it's really just a lot. It's really just a lot. And I know I really can't speak on everything that I've been going through, but y'all, when I tell y'all, when y'all going through stuff, just please keep pushing, like, seriously. Like, I'm actually gotta sit and talk about this. Like, genuinely keep pushing. It can be hard and it could be difficult. And I know sometimes it may seem like nothing good is going on and that you're never going to get out of this rough patch but i promise you that you are if i got out of my rough patch you can get out of your rough patch and i'm even still going through my rough patch but it's like you can't just sit there like you can't just sit there and be angry or upset or irritated like you just can't be sitting there letting whatever bothers you take over like like imagine like 
imagine if you say to yourself or imagine if you had an opportunity and whatever you were going through stop you from the opportunity like you're definitely going to regret it in the future like just get up just go like one thing that i've learned is when i get up and i actually open my blinds and i'm like okay i'm about to start the day i already feel like 10 times better like 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 it's just that step saying like i'm about to get up like i'm about to go at be active i'm about to go you know like if you're a content creator like myself like let me get up let me shoot this video let me do what i gotta do and get it done like you just cannot sit there you cannot sit there like i fell victim to just sitting there and letting time go by and just letting life go by and i had so much to do and i just didn't do it just because i was too sad or too depressed and it's just like don't ever let what's going on in your life stop you because you can miss out on so many opportunities like i missed out on so many opportunities just from sitting there being sad and you just really like girls because my audience is apparently 100 percent female love the girls but girls don't sit there and let anything like men or women don't ever let anything just sit there and let it consume you because nothing good comes out of that like that or like that or. like i don't know i got up i was like i don't want to do anything today like i don't want to go anywhere i don't want to see anybody like i just want to lay in the bed but if i never got up i never would have found this coffee place if i never got up i wouldn't be eating right now i would have never tried a latte for the first time and i would have never liked it like i wouldn't be in content right now like if i didn't get up i would still be in the bed like you don't want to be like that like at all like you do not want that to happen like at all this is actually really really good like it tastes like the coffee i have at home this just made me so homesick like it tastes just like the coffee that i drink at home so much but it's genuinely delicious it's really really good but yeah y'all just don't ever let whatever you're going through consume you because you never know what is going to happen like an opportunity or a blessing until you get up. No blessing or opportunity is ever gonna come from you just literally just sitting in bed, laying in bed. Nothing good comes out of that but depression. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna catch y'all when I'm back in the car and on the way to the mall. And yeah, I'm about to crush this. Like I'm about to demolish this. See, I was eating all cute on camera, but this better be gone. I'm starving. But yeah, y'all, so I'm gonna talk to, whoop, I'm gonna talk to y'all there. Hey y'all, so I just got to the mall. Right now I'm currently looking for a parking space. It's really, really, really packed today. And I did not expect it to be as packed as it was because it's Martin Luther King Day. If I'm being honest, I don't know why I thought the mall would have either closed early or have not have been open today. I didn't even check. I was just like, I'm gonna just go off a limb and look. And today I was just in luck, but it is so freaking busy. It's probably because since it's a holiday, no one has work. So everybody's just like, forget it. I'm gonna go to the mall today, which is what I'm doing. But it's extremely busy. Like there's a whole lot of people here. It's a whole lot of, just a whole lot of cars. Like even one of the, I just found myself a spot. But even one of the um, parking lots that were outside, which is closer to the entrance of the mall, was closed like literally the parking lot was just so full that they just shut it down so that sucked because that's where i usually like to park but it's whatever because like what am i gonna do about it but yeah y'all so i'm about to go in here i really am here for just one thing which is a new iphone case i decided not to get a new band i think i'm gonna just deal with the band that i have i like it and plus it kind of like goes with my nails i don't know i just been like in a really blue theme like even my purse my purse that i got from my aunt for christmas is blue my nails are blue my watch is blue and i think i'm about to get a blue case too i don't know i just been feeling blue lately it's not my favorite color my favorite black but 
I just like the aesthetic of blue. But I need to hurry up and get in the mall because I still have to go and get my toes done. The sun probably won't come down like i swear it's 4 21 right now and i promise you by five o'clock the sun probably already gonna be down or it's gonna be on the verge of being down so yeah like i'm not tripping about how much daylight i have anymore it's just like i like doing stuff during the day and i know i should have started earlier but like i said this morning i just was not feeling it so i was just like i'm gonna get in the car and start the day at 2 30 you know i plan on starting at 12 but as long as things are getting done and as long as I still have a flash, who cares? I'm just trying to find excuses for my procrastination. I was really supposed to do what I had to do yesterday, but I had just a lot of errands to run that I didn't realize that I had to run so last minute. I don't know. It was just a lot going on yesterday, but I'm about to switch off from my car onto my tripod. So let me uh, yeah because like i'm over here sitting here babbling acting like i don't actually have to go in the mall and get things done but y'all like my purse is just so cute like my aunt really knows me because i think this is like the cutest thing ever and it's just so small like it's a medium-sized bag i have small bags like my valentino bag is small and my mcm purse is big but this is a medium size like i have a medium size mcm purse that i got with the big bag but i just like this size like and it's chunky like i don't know i just really really like it i'm actually in love with it and i want another one like i love bags like every christmas my mom or a family member gets me like a new bag and oh, i just hit somebody car it's literally fine but yeah y'all every christmas or like every birthday i ask for a new bag or just my family like already gives me one and i appreciate that because i just love bags and i honestly just want to start buying bags and stuff for myself so when i buy my first designer bag on my own i'm definitely going to record that for y'all because your girl is only 20 and I'm in college and I don't have a professional job. So I don't be buying my designer bags myself. They be gifted to me, but I'm getting old. Like I need to start buying like designer and stuff for myself. And I like designer and stuff. So, but yeah, y'all. So I'm about to go in here and look for some cases. I generally don't know what case I want to get. Like I said, I want a blue case, but I don't know if I want a leather one or if I just want the regular silicone. I don't know but those apple cases work really really well um especially when it just comes to the durability of it like apple cases just really 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 protect your phone i think i'm gonna get a screen protector as well and i might get some new lip gloss i need to stop i'm supposed to be saving money but i do need some more lip gloss for mac and i really do need this phone case so we's gonna see we's gonna see all right y'all so i just got in the mall and i forgot that lennox is a really big stickler on recording so i have to be extra 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 careful because i really want to record this content for y'all and i don't want nobody to shut me down so we're gonna see what's gonna happen we're gonna see we're gonna see let me see he looked like he better tell me to shut it down right now i just want a case let me see there's a lot of people in here. What the hell? Mm -hmm. So y'all, these are the colors that they have. I don't know. Like, I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one, but at the same time, I kind of like this one too. Like between these two. Ugh. I'm trying to see, like. They also have clear cases, and I like the color of my phone, but I don't think I want anything clear. They also have these cases too that are dark blue. I don't know, I got some decisions to make. I don't know, like. Hmm. This look like black though. Yes, I'm looking for 
a case for my iPhone 15 at Pro Max. Which one do you want? What color do you want? I was thinking of a blue one. So I was thinking about one of those silicones. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like better? Do you like the, this one or that one? Be honest. The darker. The darker? The, you know, this is more like a spring, this coming color. Right. Yeah, but I think I offer to to close to that. So. I think I like the blue one too. Cause my phone already is dark blue. Yep, so and I like the, the color. color the, Pro Max. the Pro Max, I have the Pro Max. I'm gonna get that one. Do you have any um Apple Watch bands? They're gonna be downstairs. Downstairs? Yeah. So I don't even feel like going down there. Sure. I'm thinking you're more than welcome to uh, get the same thing downstairs if you want to go down there. I'm good. I'm supposed to be sure. saving money. So I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, that's all you need? <laughs> yeah, that's all I need. So y'all, I'm gonna buy this Apple case. Um, I decided to get the dark blue one. And yeah, I'm gonna pay for this and I'm gonna talk to y'all when I'm done. All right, y'all, so I just got it. It was quicker than I thought. I was really gonna get an Apple Watch band. Like, I just be, <laughs> y'all, I just be buying stuff. I just come to the mall and just be wanting to buy everything on the shelf. But I was like, let me save some money because I actually like the band. Like, I was just telling y'all how much I like my band and then just try to give it up just like that. But I don't know. I like the band, so I'm gonna just keep the band that I have. And I might get another one another time because Apple is honestly hexing for them bands. Like they want like $40, $50 just for a band to wrap around your wrist. Like I just think that's freaking insane. But anyways, I decided I am gonna go get that lip gloss. Um, the one that I have on right now, I'm pretty much out of it. Let me show y'all. This is pretty much done. Like. I don't have any left and I'm trying to use like the rest of it and it's like Taylor come on it's time for you to get some more like this ain't it but I got this from Max so I'm just about to go downstairs hopefully I don't try to buy everything out the Mac store because I'm a huge Mac girly I'm a huge Mac and Sephora girly most of my makeup products pretty much all of my makeup products come from either Mac or Sephora but mainly Mac so hopefully I don't try to buy up the whole store. Um, let's just hope. <laughs> let's just hope. Y'all, I just low key had to basically walk across the whole mall to get in here, but I finally made it. Let me get the lip gloss out because I know they're gonna be like, "What do you want?" <laughs> While I'm over here, I just got the camera in my hand, talking to the phone. Hi, are you helping somebody? Okay. Yeah. All I'm looking for is just this lip gloss. The dazzle glass. Oh, they stopped making it a while back. They stopped making it. Is there anything similar? Because I do like a liner, and then I just put a gloss on top of it. Really? Oh my God! They really stopped making it. It's over here. Okay. How you doing? Hi, how you doing? I'm okay. Yes, I was disappointed because they don't have this lip gloss anymore. Oh, the Is there anything similar? Because I do a liner and then I just put gloss on top. That kind of looks the same. It looks almost the same. Look, I'll I be buying the same product 30,000 times until it sells out. <laughs> it's pretty. It looks exactly like this one. Genuinely. Oh, which, which one do you guys think will look better with, like, a liner like this? Because I wear... I buy everything. Chestnut. Chestnut. Chestnut goes with I love chestnut. My favorite combo, I like to do the, like a chestnut with the... Like a light blue. That might actually be cute. Which pink do you use? Which pink do I use? I like the light. Yep, this one. With the chestnut, it's cute. I'm gonna go off of your suggestion. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. All right. Let me go grab one for you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is yours. 
Yeah, it's whatever's left of it. <laughs> Y'all, I decided to get this one. This is really cute. I usually get like glitter in my glosses, but I'm being different today. Girl, I'm gonna go with that one. Shoo. <laughs> I'm in a battle with the sun right now. The sun going down. I just like, let me just get it. <laughs> All right, y'all, but I'm gonna pay for this and I'm gonna talk to y'all when I'm done. All right, y'all, so I got some stuff. My stuff. I got my stuff from Mac. And now I'm leaving out. Y'all, they actually got on me for recording this time. Like, I've never been got on about recording, but they did get on me about recording, so. But I got what I came for. I got my Mac stuff, I got my Apple stuff. So I'm not really tripping, but at the same time, I'm low key tripping. Cause I'm like, I asked the woman, I was like, so what's the beef? Like, why do y'all trip over recording in the mall? And she was just like, you know, she think that they tripping too. She was just like, it's because there'll be a lot of celebrities there. And a lot of people come of course to take pictures and videotape them. And it's just like really for their privacy. So she was like, if I'm an influencer and I want to talk to management about recording Monday through Friday, I can. But she was just like, they don't be allowing nobody to record no more. Which is fine, it's cool, it was understandable. Like I say, I already came and got what I came for. So, your girl not, I'm not tripping, but your girl tripping. But it's whatever. So, I'm about to head to back to my car and head on my way to get my toes done. Like, got my nails done, but I wanna go get my toes done too. Like, it's winter, but I don't really care. Like, toes still, still gotta stay fresh, nails gotta stay fresh, hair fresh, lashes fresh, makeup fresh, everything fresh. But show y'all, so I'ma catch y'all once I get to the nail salon. Yeah. Everything to get no fasting. I don't care what you knew me in the past tense. I ain't no drinking style, this ain't no last dance. Way past it. Wait. You know my ex, cause he validate me. You know, but check, I don't wanna risk it. I ain't get possessed, let my spirit speak freely. Hey. My past can't escape me. Why pussy precedes me? Why am I all the time change? I'm still playing the victim, and you still playing to pick me. It's so embarrassing. All of the things. was amazing i love her y'all should definitely go see indigo at nail muse she was great she was fantastic she made great conversation i really really liked her so i give her a 10 out of 10 my toes are a 10 out of 10 so i will definitely be coming back but yeah y'all so i'm all done for today it's dark outside now so i did my do in the time that i had so yeah y'all so i'm about to head back to my dorm room actually set up my mirror and stuff so i can sit and close out but yeah y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all when i get there Bye. all right y'all so now i'm back in my room and i'm done like i'm finally done everything was 
completed today and everything just went by so smooth like everything was just so easy and simple and i'm really satisfied with today i just found out that i got this job and it's paying me super duper well like i just feel like today just really went so good for me especially because this morning like i told y'all was really really rough and i didn't want to do anything but like i said you will never ever ever get any blessings or any type of accomplishments or anything from just laying in the bed like you get nothing out of laying in the bed like if i were to just lay in the bed today i would have never found out that i got this job i would have never got great content today i would have never got my toes done a new case tried this new place out like i would have never did none of that if i was just laying in the bed doing nothing like that's just sad but since i got up the lord blessed me for getting up and trying and i really appreciate him for that like i gave all my blessings and grace to God, like, 100% all of it. But yeah, y'all, so I'm all done. I'm about to take off my makeup and get ready to do nothing. Because even though today went well, it was just a really long day. It was a lot of me running around, but it was a good day altogether. But now I'm just ready to relax and chill out and do nothing. So I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. So I'm going to see y'all next week. And yeah, love y'all. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Duh. All right, now back.